Oh, hi, Fred. You want to go play? Huh? Oh, you do, huh? Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Come on, pups. On the last decoy sitting video, I left y'all on a high note. Today, we're set. We're taking old Fred out today, and we're going to set a huge duck floater spread. I already have, uh, what is it, a dozen and a half pretty much, a dozen? No, one dozen, still out set up as we speak, waiting for uh, me, Fred, the side by side, and all the rest of the decoys to get back. So, I haven't done this yet. This has needed to be done. Uh, where's his bumper? Yeah, there it is. I've been needing to do this for a long time. And uh, this is uh, my, first, my first time ever trying to get Fred used to floater decoys in the water. He loves water. He will retrieve water. Look at him here. He's already getting happy. He's like, Dad, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, Fred? Set. Set. Place. Good boy. Set. That's a good boy. As a lot of you know, I told you on the last video, we've been working on obedience. We haven't been hunting. Placing. Obedience. Sitting. Staying. The whole nine yards. So today, I figured it's a good day. Take him out. See how he runs through the decoys and retrieves the bumper. Now, a lot of you are going to be going, Bob, don't worry about retrieving. He's going to have that, you know, that's a natural instinct, yada, yada, yada. I just want to see how he does with all the floaters. I want to see if they distract him, uh, if he's, uh, you know, wanting to bite them and, and, and fetch them uh, instead of the bumper. You never know, right? So, today's just some training, a little bit of training sesh. Uh, to get Fred ready for till season. It's going to be here before you know it, and he's going to be running through the decoys. So, we need to get him acquainted. So that's what today is. You guys actually requested this video, so a big shout out to all of y'all who always drop positive comments down below. I, uh, I appreciate it so much. It helps me come up with video ideas so incredibly much. I can't even, I can't even express how thankful I am to all you avid, avid viewers out there to always drop your nice comments down below video suggestions whatever it might be thank you you ready set you ready to go dude huh you gonna be a good boy all right here Fred load up load up good boy here here set good boy set he is so excited he can't even see straight hey get in your own seat dude what a beautiful day it is it's literally only like, uh, I bet it's 78, almost 80 degrees. A beautiful day. I was like, Frederick, we got to get out there and get her done today, son. And that's what we're doing. We're here at the water hole where we were last time in the last video that y'all watched. Hopefully y'all are here from the last video. If you guys didn't watch the last uh, decoy prep, uh, I explained Texas rigs on decoy how to make them, what they are, why they work well. And then we did our little public land teal spread together. Set. Now, what I'm going to do, it is a little mean, I know, but I'm going to make him stay. I'm going to make him sit right where he's at until I'm done setting this spread and talking to y'all. Again, we're going to be teaching a lot of obedience. It's not that I'm outcasting him and not letting him work when he wants to, but it's teaching him that he's going to sit by dad's rules until it's time to work. Because work means fun time. Set. Nope. Set. Look, he has uh, he's came a long ways, y'all. I just have to say so myself. And thanks to y'all. If I didn't have y'all's support, I wouldn't have Fred where he is today. So thank you so much for always dropping awesome comments down below. And if you guys like this video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. Uh, I've explained on past videos how much it helps. It takes 0.2 seconds. Do it for your boy. Now, here's all my fresh, beautiful new decoys that I've bought. All you guys seen me rig them in the last video. Set. He's doing awesome. He's sitting. He knows, man. Fred knows what's up. But uh, I don't have a lot of tips on sitting this bad boy right off the get-go. Um, when I do floater spreads, I usually make them pretty big. I mean, pretty big. So today we're going to be setting, I believe we got four dozen decoys. Right at four dozen, I believe. Never know. Teal and uh, a couple mallards like to stay here. We might have them decoying. <laughs> 
coming through and checking out what's up. Being like, what is going on over here? What is Bobby doing again? <laughs> Fred, look. No, Fred, here. Fred, here. Get up there. Place. 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 Good. Set. Set. He's seen me chuck a decoy and he wanted to go get it. Set. He thinks set. That's why I haven't shown him the bumper yet. Because if I show him that bumper, he's going to be a lot worse to, to control. You know what I mean? Set. I know. I'm strict. I know. But the boy's got to learn, y'all. <laughs> oh, He got up again, dude. He got up one more time and I had to yell at him. You sit, dude. All right, here we go. This is what we got. We got all four dozen floaters out. As you can see, I don't got many of them touching. Hardly, really, none at all. But right here, the teal, I do have them a lot closer because naturally, teal are small and they like to group up tight. But here it is from the right to the left. So I got some decoys up close, got some teal up close. Again, teal like to get up close to the bank. They like to stay grouped up, you know what I mean? They're a small duck. And there we go, I got an indention and my mojo right in the middle of my spread. Now, the wind would be coming this way. So the ducks would be decoying this way. So, always turn your back to the wind if you can. If you got a side wind them, that's fine. If uh, the wind was coming like this or something, I'd probably start here and I'd wrap it in a horseshoe going that way, like a little J leg. So then they would decoy up in here like this, you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, that's really, what, one thing that's great about floater spreads, y'all, is that you don't have to think about them a ton. You get them up, just throw them out there, you know what I mean? Make sure they're spaced nice. Make sure it looks pretty, you know what I'm saying? The bigger the better, in my opinion. I mean, honestly. All right, Frederick. Are you ready? Look at him, look at his ears. You ready, buddy? You ready? Come on, let's go. Come on, Frederick. Here, heel, set, good. I'm gonna have to switch hands with the camera. Now, I don't really like just throwing it, and I like doing memories with him. I've started doing memories, and so he's doing really good on, uh, on all scales, really. Set, set, Fred. Oh, uh, yep, there, oh. See, I knew this is why we're out here. Good! Here! That's why we're here. Here! Heel. Heel. Good. Set. That's a good boy. Now we're going to do a little remote. Set. 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 Good. That's a good boy. Sit, Frederick. No, set. I said his name too much. I talk too much. You know what I mean? On video, I just talk too much. Set. I'm used to just blabbing, you know, saying whatever comes out of my mouth just to be funny or something on video. But what I figured out is the less words used with Fred, set, can't even say his name like that, the better. You know what I mean? The more concentration. So that's why y'all recommended Bobby get rid of the word stay. You don't want to try to have. Uh, the word stay in in his vocabulary. He just needs to know a handful of words at most and that's it. Good, sit. He's doing amazing. He's doing amazing though. He will sit and he will not move. Look how pretty this little scene though looks. Fred, the side by side, and a whole floater spread in front of us, baby. Woo! Sit! Sit! Fred! Doing amazing, man. I'm proud of him. Good, here! Here! He needs to pick up the pace a little bit on the retrieve. Here. Nope. Dead bird. Heel. Heel. Good. See, he's dropping it. Set. Good boy. One of my buddies actually taught me that um, he was dropping it on the retrieve. He was dropping it, I don't know, four foot out. And he was like, dude, when he gets to you, make him heal. But when he gets to you close to that, close to you like that, turn your back to him and he won't drop it. And so that's what we've been doing. 
Thanks, man. I appreciate the input. It's actually the owner of Gypsum, uh, Gypsum Creek Retrievers. Thanks, man. Set. So we're just gonna do some more remote sets and throw the uh, throw the dummy some different angles through the spread. You know what I mean? Because I mean that's what today is about. It's just getting Fred retrieving through the decoys. Now we landed it in the decoys. So hopefully it makes it a little harder for him. Fred! You gotta find it now. Oh, right to it, dude. No problem. Good! Here! Good boy! Here, Fred. Look, turn my back. Here, heel. Nope, dead bird. Heel. Heel. Nope, dead bird. Heel. See? Set. Set. You little stinker. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. One thing I've learned is to keep him happy. Gotta praise him. You don't even necessarily need treats. Set. Set. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Set. I don't even necessarily need treats with Fred. He just needs praise at the right time. Can't praise him all the time because then he doesn't know when he's doing good or bad. Set. Good boy. Set. Nope. Set, Fred. Set. Set. Now I'm going to try to get him to stay there. And I'm going to go on the other side of the side by side here. Give it an old chuck yet again. I wish I had uh, another person that I could man a gun with. I should have brought the gun today. So we got Fred sitting. Set. He is doing absolutely stunning. May I say so myself. We're going to launch it way out there. So he has to run through the decoys. Set. 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 Fred, set. 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 Fred, set. Had to get on to him a little bit there. You don't want to listen. Set. Fred. <laughs> He's a trooper. I'm hard on him for all the right reasons. You know what I mean? You gotta be. Here. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good. Good. Now it's time for a lot of praise. You want him? You want him? You want him? You want him? You want a fun one? Yeah, we gotta keep you happy. That's, this is the most important thing that I've found. Keep him happy. Keep him happy. You want him? You want him? Go get him. Go get him. Get him. He didn't know where I threw it. <laughs> good. Here. That is one of the most important things, though, is keeping them happy. That's what keeps them entertained. Here, my bird. Here, set. Good. It's the main thing that I was missing in the beginning was I wasn't keeping him happy. I wasn't keeping him uh, entertained. I, he didn't want to come back to it because I was too strict. You know what I mean? In the beginning of having Fred, I had to learn all these things. So, again, thank you to all you guys that helped me so, so, so much down in the comments. I appreciate it. And by the way, if you haven't followed me on Instagram right here, you need to. Uh, a bunch of you hit me up in the DMs. Whenever you guys have a question about guns, about ammo, about spreads, about Fred, about dogs, anything, follow me. Set, set, good, set. Fred. Doesn't look like the decoys are going to uh, be an issue. Here, good. Here, Fred, here. See, we're going to have to, we're going to have to force fetch. I've been saying it for too long now. I, I haven't been wanting to do it, you know what I mean? But we're going to have to do it. Heel, set. I'm going to try to do some good filming on Fred this time. Set. 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 Let's do some good filming on Fred here. Fred! Good! Here! <laughs> He's loving life. Uh, he is dodging these decoys like a champion. Um, I'm going to try to get him. Set! Blast right by the camera. Hopefully you don't soak it. Set! Fred!
good here here boy here <laughs> he's doing amazing here come on let's go let's go my bird good boy I don't know if you can see all these gnats around my head but you guys better expect uh, this till season to be bad with the gnats and the mosquitoes in the mornings you guys better pack your backwoods handy keep the deet handy y'all because I'm already it's midday I'm out here getting swarmed by gnats but we got four dozen decoys to pick up probably gonna take about 20 minutes uh, enjoy the time lapse What do you think, man? I think we're done. We're all picked up. Check out that lovely little sight. That's a duck hunting rig right there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I'm liking it myself. Pretty, pretty good looking if I do say so myself. But you ready to load up, dude? Come on, let's go. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Fred, place, place. Come on, you muddy boy. Look, you're getting it all muddy. Here, here, set, set, over here. But Fred did amazing today, like always. Uh, he is getting literally better and better by the week. Every week that goes by, the more work we put in, the more time we put into his obedience and his training in general, and he's coming around, y'all. I was worried for a little bit. Set. I was worried for a little bit, but uh, I was worried for all the wrong reasons. I wasn't training him right. I was trying to hunt him, and, and he'll hunt. He'll retrieve pigeons right now you know what i mean but um the last thing i want to do is try to make youtube videos with this big camera and the head mount and everything make, make, trying to make entertaining entertainment you get what i'm saying and having to fight a dog that was my main worry i was like oh man if he's gonna be this much of a handful this is not gonna be fun this year trying to man old frederick but he's really coming around uh, I'm extremely proud of him, honestly. He is, uh, he's doing great, and uh, for being my first lab, my first duck dog I've ever had, he is a part of the family, he is an awesome dude, and I am extremely happy that you guys have been around for the entire ride. My first gun dog. You guys have been here since day one, through the Parvo. Uh, if you guys are new here, yeah, Fred. Fred has came a long ways. When I say Fred has come a long ways, I'm not just talking about the training. I'm talking about his uh, his uh, his parvo epidemic. I mean, it was it was horrible. Uh, here's a picture from him right here. Check it out. Now look at him. He's old Beefhead, old Beefhead McGee. Yeah, bud. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't because me and Fred, we're gonna be bringing you guys duck hunting videos all season long. The season's almost upon us, y'all. So get the decoys out, get them cleaned up, get everything organized, just like Fred and I have been doing. But if you guys have any video ideas for me and Fred or anything in general, drop it down in the comment section below. Let us know because we love your guys' video ideas. That's where we got this video idea today, was from y'all. And if you guys haven't, check out everything over at duckswaterfowl.com. I will link all this ducks gear down in the description below. Go pick something up. Whatever you guys do, it goes directly to supporting your boy, helping me bring you guys more of these videos. But thank y'all for being here. Until next time, peace. peace.